Another day with the power taken out of his hands. Robert Custego runs this internet cafe in central Accra. But months of erratic electricity supply means he doesn't know when he can open for customers. His small yet thriving business is now struggling. Uh, last year, I was making 120 Ghana cities. That was my turnover. But as I, at the moment, right now, that the light situation has gotten out of hands, I'm making half of that. That's around 55 Ghana cities to 60 Ghana cities. That's working for the eight hours. So I'm not able to handle things, well, even in terms of my pay my utilities and all that. So I have to take one worker off out of the place just to keep one to see whether I can manage things up. Robert doesn't have a backup <laughs> power generator, but even if he did, his internet supply is That's irregular great. now as well because his provider has its own struggles with the power issue. He says the government isn't doing enough to help keep businesses on their feet. Yes, I'm very scared because they keep promising us. But as I'm talking to you right now, it's, it's gotten out of their hands. They, they don't, daily when you listen to the media, they keep promising us this. As right now, they are saying that daily they will share mega watts for us. We, don't, we just don't know what's happening now. Yes. The government says that for now, there simply isn't the capacity for everyone to have access to electricity all the time, but that they are working on short-term and long-term solutions to the problem. But the main opposition parties say that isn't happening quickly enough and that businesses like Roberts are struggling as a result. The MPP has called on all affected people to come out to the streets in protest next week to voice their opinion about this continued lights off. But some businesses and homeowners have already decided to take matters into their own hands. There's been a spike in demand for solar power systems. It's been a technology that until now has been largely bypassed by consumers. There's a, a myth or even without inquiry, people, people feel it's too expensive to get into. But with the current uh, energy crisis, they're making more inquiries and they're finding out People are more ready to invest in a generator than they would in a solar system. But now they're, they're forced to make, uh, to look in the long term and uh, sort of make payback analysis and then they realize that uh, the solar system is the better option. Producers have put their faith in solar's longevity. French energy giant Total has agreed to invest 80 million US dollars in Ghanaian solar energy farms over the next two years. Catherine Vitozzi, CCTV, Accra.